I'm going to Florida! This is a fi this is it. This is officially it. This is the final video before I go to Orlando. So I thought I'd spend a few minutes with you and go over all the stuff that I'm taking with me. This is kind of like my travel essentials video. Bit of a random one, but I thought I'd do it because I had a lot of fun, you know. Before I was before I about a week ago, I decided that I wanted to get a new a new rucksack and I wanted to get a bunch of stuff to take with me. Uh, just to have basically just a bit a bit of a giggle. But ended up really like liking what I've put together. And I kind of like how to explain it? I thought I was gonna get a lot of flack from my friends for like buying these certain items, but everyone's like, oh, that's really cool, I want one of them. <laughs> so I thought I'd share it online and show you guys my kind of travel essentials uh, for like flying to Orlando. So, first of all, I got a brand new rucksack. It came off Amazon and it's chewy. It's got a um, just a generic style back on it. It is made for kids, but it does fit an adult back and I'm a big dude and it fits me. Um, but yeah, it's a Chewbacca rucksack, and there is one of these available at like Galaxy's Edge, but they want like a hundred dollars for it. Whereas this one's just a cheap alternative. It was thirteen quid. Thirteen quid. So if this gets broken or destroyed, or if anything should happen to this bag whilst I'm in Orlando, it was a throwaway bag. That was always always the point of it. So this is kind of like my new travel bag that I don't care if anything ha like happens to it, kind of thing. So inside, I've got a bunch of goodies. As I've got a face mask, you still need to wear face masks in the airport, on the plane, and in some locations in Orlando. So I've got a Star wars -y one to go with all the rest of the good Star wars -y stuff. So, nice and big baggy loose mask. Ready for Orlando. I got some brand new headphones, these are from uh, Amazon as well. These are from, like, these are meant to be for kids, and these are 15 quid, and they've got the... Uh, First order logos on them and stuff, got the Star Wars logo at the top, but these are made for kids, right? But they've got like really soft earphones, and I thought for nine hours on a plane, they're going to be well comfortable, and they fit my head, and I've got a big head, but they fit me. And I like these because they come with the microphone piece. So the idea is, in Orlando, obviously I have to use a scooter, and um, because of my leg and stuff. If I'm on my phone, if I like need to ring anybody, I've got the, 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 I've got the wireless, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Love the headphones, nice and comfy. Next up, I got myself a new power bank because you always need power when you're out when you're in Orlando. Because especially in Florida, in, in Disney, you're going to be using your phone constantly for photos. I use mine for video, obviously, and of course you need it for all like the the Disney Genie app and all that kind of stuff. So I picked up myself up a twenty pounds Mandalorian. Um, power bank just for a bit of go a bit of fun you can get a power bank in orlando called the fuel rod and i believe they're about 20 euros sorry 20 dollars and you can basically keep replacing that whenever it runs out but i'll probably still get one of them when i'm out there just because it's a disney one but i got this for the meantime and this can recharge my phone twice so very cool got that next up <clears throat> you guys know what i'm doing here with this the yellow kyber crystal so when we're in when we're in orlando and it's time to build my lightsaber i will be taking this with me to the park so i'll be I, this is the kyber crystal i'll be using in my lightsaber and with that in mind i did get myself a new new chain pendant for uh, i got myself a new star wars jedi uh chain again just cheap just it was just 10 quid online just a little bit of costume jewelry uh, just something a little, a little bit fun to wear. The best part as well, what I like about it, I can take the actual, I can take the the actual Jedi pendant off, and my favourite thing on the planet is I can do this. I showed this off in the video earlier. I think it's the, the beginning of this video, but I'll do it again right quick. On the top of these canisters, there is a 
little bit of the, there is a thing where you can basically put the chain through like that. So then basically on the day that I'm building my lightsaber, I can actually wear the kyber crystal around my neck <laughs> and go and uh, build my saber. So yeah, had to, had to be done. <laughs> But uh, until then, I'll put the little uh, pendant back on. But yeah, I've got that. My yellow light, my, my yellow kyber crystal is definitely my crystal. It's the one that's always yellow. The yellow kyber crystal is always the one that's always spoken to me every time I do the Star Wars games and stuff. I always use the yellow crystals, especially in, like Jedi Fallen Order. I always use the yellow. Don't know why. It's just always been the color that always spoke to me on Star Wars. I never wanted a red saber or. a... I know a lot of people go for purple because it's like Samuel L. Jackson's saber and Revan's saber, but nah, purple does no for me either. I like the uh, the yellow. All right, moving on. <clears throat> uh, I then got myself a new phone cover because, as you guys know, I can I was going to show you, but my phone's on the. I'm filming on my phone. This is my current phone cover, and it has been smashed to bits. And I've currently got the um, pop pop. Pop socket on there, which is Figment from Disney. However, I got myself a brand new phone case. So I'll be swapping these over before we go. I'm gonna swap these over tomorrow morning before we fly. But yeah, we've got I've got a brand new Star Wars phone cover case. And my favourite thing, I got myself a This Is the Way Mandalorian pop socket, which just pops out, and I've just dropped it down the side of my computer. Awesome. Absolute buffoon. <laughs> can I get that back? Yes, I can. <laughs> so, yeah, just stretch out like that. It says this is the way on it. I love pop sockets. You can get a proper good grip on your phone. Just a lot better, especially for filming as well. It helps steady my hand usually because I'm like able to hold my phone properly. So, yeah, I'll be swapping, I'll be swapping them over before we fly. And then I got some travel essential reading, of course. I got the Galaxy's Edge Star Wars Marvel comic, which is a uh, collect collection of comics, Galaxy's Edge numbers one through five, which tells the different tales of the uh, of Galaxy's Edge, from you know doc, from Doctor Aphra uh, right through to Han Solo, and the stories of Doc Ondar and lo lots of other things in there. I like these books because it has the timeline in the front, so like you've got like you can read the stories in order. So like you've got right right from the Skywalker strikes right through to like Screaming Citadel with with Doctor Aphra and stuff. I need to actually sit down and read some of these comics because uh, they look really cool and I've never, I've never officially read them in order. I've never read Screaming Citadel and you know I've never read Vader Down. I've never read Smuggler's Moon and I've never read the Skywalker Skywalker strikes. I've just never read them, so I need to get on that at some point. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this because it's all Galaxy's Edge, obviously. So exciting. And then I couldn't resist grabbing this. This is the Traveller's Guide to Batu. This is an in-world book. This isn't like a secrets book or anything like that. This is all told in-world. So as if Batu was a real place. And it tells you all the, the must-see things to do at uh, the Black Spire Outpost and things like that. And what the... Like, um... Like, who... Like, oh, I can't explain it. Like, the different people who, uh, who make up the world and things like that. They all have their... All, all their backstories are in here. The droid buyer's guide. So all the droids that are outside Droid Depot, they've each got a you know a droid designation and they're all got their own little stories. So I'm gonna sit and basically flick through this on the plane. And it's got like the, the backstory of like DJ Rex, how he ended up there. Uh, the Cantina Code of Conduct. Um, no no Kowakian monkey lizards. So <laughs> no staring, no fighting, no biting. <laughs> And yeah, just got all the different like um, sigils, what what they mean, what all the like all the different. Uh, there's loads of different um, banners and things like that around around the world, around the sh around their place, and it's like who they represent and all that good stuff. And then all the different versions of the troopers who you might see. So yeah, very cool. I'm gonna give that a big old read on the plane. And of course, you saw it at the beginning. I've still got my Boba Fett sun gigs. I got that a bit scratched up now, to be fair. I'm hoping to pick up a new pair while we're out there. They do have the uh, Mandalorian sigil in the top corner. And the green and sort of like the colours of Boba. Say Star Wars on them. These are my favourite shades ever. I bought these in Orlando um, a couple of years back. So I'm hoping they still sell these and I can pick up another pair. They did also have the First Order as well in red and black. So I could be very tempted to grab those too. 
But all in all, my little travel ruck, uh, rucksack of goodies is good to go, guys. I am very excited. And uh, I just can't wait for my flight to roll around. And I can't wait to make some content for you out in Galaxy's Edge. So, guys, what are your thoughts on my travel essentials? What do you take with you when you go to Orlando? I'd love to know in the comments down below. And, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be in Orlando, Florida. So, until then, may the force be with you.